Today we're going to be having a look at Blender 2.57 uh, and we're going to be creating some smoke. I'm just going to go over the very basics of this, but make sure you're running, uh, I'm running uh, version 2.57.0 um, and the smoke and the particles uh, that we're going to be playing with in physics um, are something that are heavily under development. So if you're running a slightly different version uh, things may be a little different. So take into account I'm running 2.57.0. Um, so let's get started. We got our default cube here. I'm going to hit delete and delete that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit spacebar and I'm going to type in sphere and I'm going to add a UV sphere. This is going to be our emitter. This is going to where it be the object that smoke is coming from. Let's uh, now with that sphere selected, we'll hit spacebar again and type smoke and you'll see an option of make smoke. Click enter or hit enter or click on that. And at this point you can hit alt A and you'll see smoke being generated. Uh, so basically it took that object, put a domain which is that box around it which uh, will not show up in the render and our sphere is now emitting smoke. Uh, now the sphere um, by default is uh, turned off not to render once it starts creating smoke that's something you can change and I'll show you in a moment uh, and you'll see that uh, we're rendering we're baking a uh, bit of smoke right here if I stop that and I try scrolling forward you see it only gives us a few dots of smoke and then kinda stops and the reason for that is because you have to save the animation or save your project before you can render out smoke uh, properly so let's go ahead and click save as and I will just save this as smoke okay now at this point I can hit alt a again and it should create uh, the smoke and uh, we should be able to render it out after that although we're gonna make a few more changes to it let's let it go all the way uh, to the default 250 frames here Okay, um, so once you have that baked, which it's actually baking again because I started the baking not at the first frame, so make sure you're at the first frame by hitting shift down arrow before you start baking it. And once this gets to the end here, I'll hit escape. And now I can scroll through my frames and you can see the smoke going up. I'll go in my camera view there, move the camera up a little bit. As you can see, uh, just like if you watched my tutorials from a while ago on uh, uh, fluids, which I think I actually did in Blender 2.4, you have your domain and the smoke basically won't go out of that domain. So when it hits the top of the box here, which is the domain, it's going to start mushrooming out just like it would if it hit the ceiling. We're going to hit F12 here and render that out. And there you go. You can see our basic default smoke so this is uh, with the default options here note that the sphere does not render out that's something that we can change if you'd like in fact let's do that right now we'll click on the sphere there go over here to the particles uh, window tab and we'll scroll down uh, till we see render right here and if we click emitter the sphere is the emitter if we have 12 now you'll see the sphere but it will actually look kind of all black, not just kind of all black. The sphere itself is all black. Now the reason for that is uh, because basically the um, particles, the smoke itself, is a texture and it's allowing light through and you need to turn on um, some special op options in the material for the sphere. So first thing we have to do is give the sphere some material. With the sphere selected we'll go to the material tab click new obviously you can get whatever you want but we'll scroll down and right here you have shadow click on that and you'll see receive transparent because the texture on the default smoke uh, has some transparency to it and if you don't turn on receive transparent on the objects it's uh, it's shadowing on it basically will block out everything so there's no light getting to the sphere so now that we have that checked on the sphere if we hit F12 we should get a little more color there we go in our sphere We'll hit escape on that. We'll go a few more options here. Uh, with the um, domain selected, you can see that it has a material already given to it with a texture, and the texture is the default uh, smoke texture here. 
which you can see if you look really closely in the preview window here. Now if we want to change the color of the smoke, we can click on this little box right here. I'll give it kind of a blue color. Now if you render it out again right now, you'll see that it still has no color, it's just kind of a gray color. And that's because the emission is set to zero. And it can be anywhere from zero to ten. So why don't we just change this to ten. And we'll render it out again. Hitting F12, and there you go, we have a blue smoke. Which is actually more of a glow. Now. The default settings on smoke aren't always the most realistic, and you can tweak them. We're not going to get into that too much today, but we are going to play with it a little bit. Um, also, right now, the smoke is a lower resolution. So if we go over here to the particles tab, I'm sorry, the physics tab, I think, and we hit uh, domain, click on the domain, you'll see there's a uh, option for smoke high resolution. We can click that, and you see your smoke disappears because you need to rebake it, so shift arrow down to go to the first frame again and we'll hit alt a and once again it will generate the smoke once again it will take a little bit longer now because it's doing it at a higher uh, resolution and we're not going to get into that too much for time because it also slows down your rendering quite a bit but uh, when you are getting ready to do your final render be sure to check that box if you want to do a higher resolution of uh, smoke so that's the basics of smoke. Obviously you have a lot more options when you go to like the uh, particle tabs here. You can do a lot of other stuff which we may get into in the future. Um, but today we're just going to play around a little bit now that I've showed you the basics. I'm just going to hit escape here and control N to reload default settings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete default cube. I'm going to add a plane. I'm going to scale that out. I'm going to go to front view. And I'm going to rotate that plane, which will be my ground, and I'll also add in a sphere here. I'm going to grab that sphere. I'm going to move it up, and what I'm also going to do is drag this out. And we're going to change our Blender render. I'm just going to use uh, Blender Game Engine Physics here for a second. So we'll click on Blender Game Engine up there. And I will come over here to Physics. I'm going to, with the sphere selected, choose uh, Rigid Body. And we will say down here, collision bounds, we'll make it a sphere. Now if we hit Alt-A, I'm sorry, not Alt-A, hover over the 3D view and press P for going into game mode, you can see the sphere land and kind of roll down our ground plane there, which is perfect. It's just what we wanted to do. And since we like the way that animation looks, what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to game and choose record animation. Now if we hit P, goes a little bit faster, we hit escape once we get to the point we want. Now if we go back to uh, Blender Render, we're using the Blender Renderer, um, now you can see down here in our timeline, there are a whole bunch of keyframes here, and if we hit Alt-A, it runs through that animation of the sphere falling and rolling, uh, just as if it had gravity, and it's a bit easier than animating it by hand. So that's great that we've uh, got that animation down. So now with the sphere selected, we'll hit spacebar, type in smoke, make smoke. Now we need to move our domain box around a little bit, scale it up a bit, grab it down like so. And we just wanna make sure that it's big enough that wherever that sphere goes in our animation, it is inside this box. So there we go. Now if I hit Alt-A, you can see that it starts generating smoke, the sphere starts falling, and starts rolling down and it's letting off smoke wherever it goes. Now once again at this point the um, sphere itself is uh, not visible. If you want to make it visible, select it, go to particles, turn on under render emitter. We also want to go to materials for the sphere, add a new, and under shadows add receive transparent and we also want to do that for this ground plane here otherwise well I'll show you we'll go to our camera view here we'll hit F12 and um, you'll see how there's a black border around that's because the domain right now is casting a shadow uh, we do not want that and it would actually be different once we start rendering out the smoke but it would cause uh, problems there so we are going to add a new material and for the ground plane as well, we'll add um, receive transparency. I'm also going to play with the lighting just a bit. 
grab the default light, I'm gonna move it up front here, change it to an area lamp, rotate it around. I'm going to change the energy level to 0.5 and the distance to probably 15 or so. Back it up just a, a little bit. I'll change the sample size to six. That's gonna slow down rendering, but make a smoother shadow. And we'll make the area, the size of the lamp to six as well. I'm also going to clone that lamp, bring it over here. So right now I'm just playing around with lighting. I'm gonna set the energy for that lamp to point two, and I will clone that and bring it over here, rotate that around, just to make sure we get you know nice uh, lighting all the way around. May even give this a little bit of a bluish tinge, and this light a little bit of a orangish tinge, just a little bit, slightly, give it a little contrast there. Now, once again. You have to save the project before you can render out the smoke properly. So let's save as, I'll just call this smoke three, because I already have a smoke two from when I was practicing earlier. We will save this out and go to camera view. Let's uh, hit Alt A and see when and where the sphere comes into the camera view here comes in at about frame 50, so maybe that's where we'll start our animation, unless you want a little uh, graduation, gradual intro to it. And it rolls down the plane. And obviously my computer isn't the fastest, but it's uh, generating that smoke and baking it out. And it falls off the ledge there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the first frame animation, so shift down arrow. I'm going to uh, choose the domain and I am going to turn on under part of, oh no, under physics, high resolution smoke. I'm going to go to my render window here. I am going to make my start frame frame 50. I am going to just for time's sake uh, set this to 720 and I will save it as a XVID video and I will put it in my tutorials folder as smoke render one dot AVI accept that once again save everything I'll hit alt A so that it bakes out this animation And once it's done baking, I will render it out, which will probably take a while. And I will get that uploaded as soon as possible, and I'll put an annotation in this video for it. I thank you for watching. I hope you found this little tip useful. And once again, uh, tweaking the smoke, you can get a lot more realistic and other effects with it. I'm just trying to give you the basics in this video. So thanks once again for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Like us on Facebook. Become a fan. And also... Um, just have a great day.